and latrines. So the for several decades, Kelly Callahan has worked for the global nonprofit Carter Center to provide treatment and medicine to people suffering from neglected tropical diseases in some of the most remote and warmest places on the planet. The end of the road is not where the people live. You have to go far beyond the end of the road to deliver these vaccines or these drugs. Maintaining a cold chain becomes incredibly difficult. Callahan says complicated logistics to keep the medicines cold aren't the only obstacle. Antibody therapies are difficult to develop, expensive, and often must be administered by medical staff. Many patients also don't want to be injected with needles, as healthcare professionals know all too well. All challenges that plague healthcare providers around the world trying to administer COVID-19 vaccines. Anything that can be done to reduce the intensity of delivery, anything that can be done to reduce the challenges in delivery will make delivery much easier. Which is exactly what Northwestern University's Dr. Michael Jewett is trying to do. This can revolutionize the way in which antiviral therapies could be delivered. Dr. Jewett and his staff at Northwestern's Center for Synthetic Biology, in partnership with the University of Washington and Washington University in St. Louis, first used supercomputers to design a new protein-based antibody nasal spray. It was refined in testing on mice and delivered promising results in combating COVID-19. What's special about the version we created is it's actually effective at neutralizing all of the variants of concern in this mouse model. Testing showed Northwestern's nasal spray outperformed current antibody treatments with emergency use authorization status from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. Northwestern's nasal spray maintained effectiveness for longer and also reduced the overall level of infection. One of the special features about this antiviral therapy is that we can both treat and prevent it. The next crucial step for the research team's nasal spray, which is cheaper to manufacture, doesn't require cold storage, and can be self-administered, is determining its effectiveness in humans. We've currently partnered with a biomanufacturing company to scale up the synthesis for testing and ultimately moving this towards phase one clinical trials. Jewett says the process his team developed could be valuable in the fight against future pandemics. So I do think that all of the elements of the kind of platform that we've been able to put in place could be repurposed towards future viruses that we might face. This could be a game changer for many different types of treatments, not just um, one particular disease. It could be for multiple diseases. Clinical trials for the COVID-19 nasal spray could begin by the end of the year. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Evanston, Illinois.